Hey everyone, and welcome. Today, we're tackling leak code problem. Find the number of ways to place people I. It sounds a bit abstract, but we'll break it down step by step into something really clear. Let's get started. So here's the official problem description. We're given a list of coordinates for different people on a 2D plane. Our job is to count how many valid pairs of people we can form, based on a couple of specific rules. Don't worry about reading all the text now, I'll simplify the rules for you. All right. What are we actually looking for? We need to find pairs of points, let's call them A and B, that follow two specific rules. First, point A has to be upper left of point B, and second, the imaginary rectangle that these two points create must be completely empty. No other points can be inside it, not even on the border. Let's visualize this. For a point A to be upper left of B, its X value must be less than or equal to B's, and its Y value has to be greater than or equal to B's. When that condition is met, they define a rectangle. The second rule is that this entire shaded area must be a no-fly zone for any other points in our list. Looking at the first example, we have points at 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 3. Let's try to make a pair. How about A at 1, 1, and B at 2, 2? Well, A's X value is smaller, which is good. But its Y value is also smaller, not bigger. So it fails the upper left rule right away. If you test any pair of points here, you'll find that none of them satisfy that first condition, which is why the answer is zero. Okay, let's use an example that actually works to make it clearer. Imagine we have just two points, A at 2, 6 and B at 7, 1. Is A upper left of B? Well, its X is smaller, and its Y is bigger. Perfect. Is the rectangle empty? Yes, because there are no other points at all. So this is a valid pair. Now, what if we add a third point, C, right in the middle at 4, 4. A and B still satisfy the first rule, but now, their rectangle is no longer empty. C is inside it. So the pair AB is now invalid. So how can we solve this systematically? The most straightforward way is to just check everything. We can call this the brute force or triple loop approach. The idea is simple. First, we'll use two loops to create every single possible pair of points, A and B. For each pair, we'll check if it meets our upper left rule. If it does, we'll then use a third loop to check every other point, let's call it C, to see if it's inside the AB rectangle. If we find even one point inside, we disqualify the pair and move on. If we check all other points and find none inside, we've found a valid pair and we add one to our count. And here is what that logic looks like in Python. It might seem a little dense at first but it follows the exact idea we just talked about. We're going to break this down piece by piece so it makes perfect sense. Let's start at the top. These first two loops, one for I and one for J, are our pair making machine. Their only job is to go through the list of points and give us every possible combination of a point A and a point B. We also have a quick check to make sure a point isn't being paired with itself, because that's not allowed. Next up is this important if statement. This is where we enforce our first rule. We're checking if point A's X coordinate, that's the item at index 0, is less than or equal to point B's X coordinate. At the same time, we check if point A's Y coordinate, the item at index 1, is greater than or equal to point B's Y coordinate. If this rule isn't met, we just continue, which means we skip to the next pair. Once a pair passes the first test, we have to check if its rectangle is empty. That's what this third loop, the K loop, is for. It iterates through all the points again. For each of these temporary points, we check if its X value is between A's and B's X values, and if its Y value is between B's and A's Y values. This is how we check if it's inside that rectangle. So we have a little flag, a variable called illegal, that starts as false. If the inner K loop ever finds a point inside the rectangle, it sets illegal to true and immediately breaks out of that inner loop, since we already know the pair is invalid. If the whole K loop finishes without ever finding an intruder, illegal stays false. That's our signal. It means the pair is valid, and we can finally add one to our answer. Let's think about complexity. How efficient is this? Since we have a loop that runs n times, and inside it another loop that runs n times, and inside that a third loop that also runs n times, the total number of operations grows very quickly. We describe this as a time complexity of big O of n cubed. For space, we're only using a few variables to keep track of things, no matter how big the input is. So that's big O of 1, or constant space which is great. So to recap the main ideas, 
The brute force approach, while not always the fastest, is a powerful way to solve problems by being thorough. We simply checked every possibility. The key was breaking the problem's rules into simple programmable checks, one for the upper left condition, and another to see if a point was inside a given rectangle. Hope that breakdown was helpful. If you found this clear, please hit the like button, subscribe for more tutorials, and feel free to ask any questions in the comments. And hey, if you really want to support the channel, you can always buy me a boba. Thanks for watching, and happy coding!